Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be flying the 802-808 keychain camera. I'll spit it out here. So I've got it strapped to the Hubson. I'm utilizing the mount that it came up for the SEMA X5. I've got it zip stripped to the um, body of the copter. Uh, and so I'm going to try flying this. I've had a lot of requests. You know, can this fly another camera? So I'm going to give this a shot. So let's see. So I've done the compass calibration dance. Uh, I've got, I think, 10 satellites on it. And so I want to go ahead and make sure I'm still recording. And I am. And I'm going to get the controller. And we're going to give this a shot. And so we're going to try arming it. And I seem to have a problem with one of the motors. Okay, we're going to give this a shot again. So we, we got it up in the air. We had a little bit of problem with one of the motors. Uh, but it's working now. So I got a little bit of drift on it. I want to do a quick walk around. Uh, as you can see, I've got 10 satellites, but I think the, uh, the camera is definitely holding a drag on it. I'm going to start the video recording on it. So the video is recording. So kind of just running it out and letting it hover a little bit. Again, you'll notice that it's... Uh, drifting quite a bit more than usual. So I just uh, want to kind of let it drift around, see a little bit how uh, this goes. I'm going to measure sort of the, uh, one of the things I want to see is how, how does this, how does this uh, wear on the battery. So I'm just kind of going to mess around with it here pretty close in case it falls. And then what I'm going to do is I'll be able to measure the time in the video of how long its flight time uh, has been. Uh, because I'm kind of betting I get maybe seven to eight minutes of flight time out of this normally. Uh, without the camera, I'm going to bet you dollars to donuts. I'm only going to see probably about maybe five minutes uh, with that camera, additional camera weight. Although, I, I, do, I am getting about a 10 mile an hour, eh, maybe about 8 mile an hour gust off the lake right now. So, uh, she's kind of fighting that with that extra weight, but it's not, it's actually not too bad. So, so, so yes, Virginia, you can actually fly a keychain camera on this. Now, I've had a couple folks actually show me smaller versions of these cameras. And I think I'm going to order one and, and give it a shot on this. I also, I can lighten up this uh, mount that I came up with for the SEMA also. So that's, that's also very doable. Keep in mind too, I've also got the weight of the landing legs uh, also factoring into this as we're uh, flying this. So I'm down to about two bars, but that's pretty much normal for this little guy. Just the second I take off, it almost seems pretty much I drop to about two bars. So I'm not, I'm not driving it too hard. So if I drive it out, let's just take it out, and let's take it over, and then let's take it back. Now as I'm getting out in the wind, it's getting, it's pulling a little bit harder because the closer I get towards the lake, the more wind I pick up. Uh, notice also when I when I go forward how it dives and has to recover altitude. So I'm just kind of doing some squares here. This is also kind of a good thing uh, to do to kind of just uh, get used to translational flying. You know what the orientation is and how your sticks work. Because again, I'm just just doing it with the uh, uh, right control stick. But again, notice how I'm losing altitude with the extra weight of that camera as, as I pitch it forward. So, uh, also apologies if I'm getting wind noise. I'm trying a couple different uh, windsock designs for the mic on this hat cam. So, uh, just doing it. So, as you can see here, we're doing pretty good and just checking, making sure it's still recording. 
still is. So, so far this flight's pretty good. I'm, I'm, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm recording. Let's do a little bit of yacht party for Norbert. You gotta get that in there, obligatory. And you know, we take it out. I don't want to get it up too high because I'm I'm kind of waiting to see. Now I'm down to about one one battery, or sorry, one bar. Up, uh, staying the wrong way. So what I want to do is I want to bring it down a little bit closer to the ground. Pick a nice little spot here for it to kind of crash land on. And again, I just want to kind of let it, I want to let it run out of battery and see, see how long of a flight time I actually get with it. So again, I'm getting a good, good brisk uh, wind off the lake, again, probably about 8 miles an hour. So it's fighting against that, which is probably a little bit unfair for this size guy. But I gotta tell you, for for the money, this guy is just a super little quadcopter. Um, I, I wish they gave, gave us a little bit more to work with in the body. Um, you know, appendages to attach things. Uh, because I think you could do a lot more. So you can tell the batteries are starting to get, to go out. Uh, I've got still I think it looks like one bar I'm not sure if you can see one bar on the controller it's either one bar or zero bars and so it's starting to struggle a little bit so I sort of want to mark time on this to see what happens I'm gonna save out the video the video saved so I've got an SD card in in the copter itself as well as the 802, 808 keychain. Now I'm not sure if that's actually recording. I think it is. Uh, I charged it up yesterday, so I can't believe it discharged overnight before I came out here to fly. Because I was going to try to fly this yesterday, but the wind was just way too much. And you can see it's uh, starting to really give out. I think at about this time, I would have probably suggested landing it because you can see how it's struggling. I'm going to give it a little bit more altitude just to kind of keep it up there. But I really want to see what type of uh, time I get out of this. So I'm just going to let it uh, crash land. So I want to kind of get it back over here. So it's still going actually pretty good. I think, uh, I think by stopping the video camera I actually might have gave it a little bit more life. Uh, I'm not sure how much power the video camera actually pulls, but now you see that I've, since I've stopped the video, uh, it's actually come up in altitude where it was hovering pretty low before. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed. Now one of the things I think too is I need to move this camera backwards a little bit further, more towards the center of the body, if you will. So uh, we, got a, we actually got a ship out there. So, that's pretty interesting. Actually, it's a tug and a barge. So maybe I'll fly on that in a little bit with the uh, up air. But uh, this is actually going a lot longer than I thought it would. Now, again, I'm not overly exercising this guy like I normally would. Um, you know, a normal flight, because it's really just hovering. But what I'm adding in is the fact of this wind that it's buffering. Um, you know, kind of taking up the slack if I was flying it. Again, I'm just, I, I'm simply astonished that this guy is still flying. So I think it's, now you notice it's starting to drop a little bit. Now these are the newer batteries I got, because if you look back in the playlist, you'll notice I had some problems with the original battery that came with it. Uh, where this one, these, these ones are the newer batteries, and again, I'm getting some pretty reasonable flight times out of them. So, again, this thing just uh, doesn't want to give up the ghost. So, that's kind of a good thing. So, I think I could probably get a little bit more flight time out of this than I thought with this keychain camera. And again, as I was mentioning before, I think I could lighten this up a little bit, this key, the uh, mount, um, with this because I don't need all the affixings I have on there to mount to the SEMA. Uh, body. So again, it's in there really, really good. 
You notice I'm getting the blinky lights down here now. I didn't notice those before. So obviously I think the batteries are starting to become a little bit weak. And there we go. We're down. So we got a good flight out of it. I'll have the time down below when I do this in post uh, to see how long it flew. And uh, so you can see. So hopefully we got some video off the keychain camera. I don't know. Let's pick this up. And uh, I'll push the shutter button. I'm, I'm not confident I got video out of this. But we did get enough out of this to understand that we can fly with an 808 keychain camera. The body doesn't feel hot, but it is cold out here today. So, uh, hey, anyways, um, subscribe button's coming up over there. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would and also comment below if you got any questions you want to see more of this. Let me know happy to do it Cheers, and we'll see you in the next video